Hello, here's Klaus from QuantUX. In this video I will show you how to use QuantUX to do a user test for a Figma prototype. Let's look at the Figma prototype that we will be using. It's a simple mobile application that allows its users to order food. I've created the prototype and linked everything together in Figma. Once the prototype is done, I can change to QuantUX and create a new prototype. I enter the name, I select the right screen resolution and I click on Create. In the canvas, I select Import Screens, select the Figma tab, enter my access key and enter the Figma URL. Then I click on Import. This will now download all the screens into the canvas. I can now see that all the screens were successfully imported into the canvas. Also all the links between the screens were successfully preserved. If I click now on Simulate, I can also check that the animations are running as expected. Now I can leave the canvas and go back to the testing section. I have already defined two tasks, but let's create a new one. I click on a task and a dialog pops up. I can first give the task a name, for instance, change payment. I can also give it a nice description. Now I can start clicking through the prototype and what you can see on the left side is that all the events are recorded. The events that I don't need for my task analysis I can remove by simply clicking on them. Once I'm happy with the flow, I can click on save. To test the prototype I need a test link. I create one by clicking on share and copying the test link from the dialog. When you open the link in a new browser window, the QuantUX prototype simulator will start. Your testers will be greeted with a short message and they can see the tasks. Sometimes this is not enough and you want to give the users the ability to see the tasks during the test. To do so, you have to tick the Show Tasks during Test checkbox. Now when you start the simulator, you can see that on the left side the tasks are shown. Once the user completes a task, the success is indicated in the left panel. When I navigate back to QuantUX, I can see that there is a new test and a screen recording in the page. I can now click on play to see how the user interacted with my prototype. The nice thing is that the screen recordings work out of the box. I didn't have to install any software. By looking at the screen recordings, I can learn already a lot about the users and the problems that they face with my prototypes. However, this is sometimes not enough. In particular, when you have recorded many tests, like I have in this example, for instance 8, it is very cumbersome to check all the videos and remember what went wrong. To make the analysis easier, one can click on the dashboard. And here you can see already the task performance for each of the tasks. For instance, I can see that only 2 of 8 users managed to change the payment method. To find out what went wrong, I can change now to the analytic canvas. I click on heat maps. And by clicking on any of the heat maps, I open the analytic canvas. The analytic canvas shows you the prototype, but overlays it with different analytics, for instance a heat map. Here you can see where the users have clicked. To get a better understanding of the task performance, you can also select the task and drop off analysis. Now you can see the flow of the task rendered above your prototype. You can see for every step the drop off rate. For instance, on the third step that we have a drop off rate of 12%. We can also analyze the task times. Simply select time in the right menu. Now the duration for each task step is shown. Colder colors indicate that the users were able to fulfill the step very fast, whereas warmer colors indicate that the users needed more time. For instance, the users were very fast from navigating from the start screen to the overview screen. They only took 1.5 seconds. Navigating from the overview to the details took longer. 3.6 seconds. Therefore, the line is drawn in green. In the right properties panel, you can switch between the different tasks that you have created and get insights into each of the KPIs, for instance, the success rate. QuantUX is open source and free for everybody to use. If you like this video, do not forget to give us a thumbs up or a star in GitHub. Thanks for watching.